Key West is home to one of the biggest historic districts in the country. We have over 4,000 wooden buildings that are within our historic district that really encompasses all of downtown. So anywhere you go on, in Key West, you're going to run into these great old buildings. We have our own building styles here. A lot of it is uh, after the Civil War. So as people are walking around the historic district or downtown Key West, they often marvel at the architecture. Everything is quaint and compact. It feels it's a very human scale because the city was laid out before World War II. So everything is walkable. And so if people notice when they get here, everybody walks in bikes. Uh, there aren't, you know, a lot of cars on our street. And that's because, you know, Key West was laid out before the Civil War where everything had to be tight and compact. And the buildings are all close together, uh, they're dense, and yet there's tons of trees and greenery as you're walking around. And so you really get an old-fashioned sense for uh, historic architecture when you go through Key West. Here at the Oldest House Museum, which is right in the heart of the old downtown on Duval Street, one family lived in it from uh, 1829 all the way up to 1972. And so we're lucky perhaps that they weren't as rich as they might have been because the building is largely intact from after World War II. All the windows are original. We just have them re, uh, restored, but they're original and they work. So people often save up for years and, and to want to come to Key West. They, they've heard about this really crazy place at the end of the road. Key West has always been a haven for people that uh, thought they were misfits or outcasts in other places. And so Key West uh, has always had a culture that embraced that diversity. Old Island Restoration Foundation was founded in 1960 because in the 50s, people started coming here and tearing down the beautiful old buildings that were built after the Civil War. And uh, this great group of people uh, banded together to say, wait a minute, this is something we should embrace and save. And so even though the trend in the 50s was to wipe out the old things, and uh, put new, sleek, one-story glass buildings. In Key West, Old Island Restoration Foundation uh, captured the imagination of the city and everybody said, stop, no, we're going to preserve what we have. And so largely, most of the old buildings are still intact. And so OIRF exists to help preserve the historic district and preserve this oldest house in Key West and to uh, educate people about the cultural history of Key West, which is very unique in that it's always embodied that tolerance and diversity. And so the Old Island Restoration Foundation, which you can find at oirf.org, um, really embodies something special here in Key West and learn more about our fun, quirky, uh, tolerant culture here in Key West.